what is the status on this car and that's exactly what we're going to go over and get you guys up to date in this video this is just an example of what we're trying to do with this car so i actually like the patina the way that it looks on the outside but what we're trying to do is make the inside of the car as brand new as we possibly could so for example this is the lower valance on the on the front of the car this goes at the very at the very bottom and so that's the way the paint's going to look on the outside but if we flip it around you can see that Already it has it has been painted on the back side the same has been done to our uh, front valance piece here our cow has been done basically all that's going to remain is just the the rust on the outside have you seen this yet i uh in the process i didn't get to see the complete side of i've decided to use a product called Coat. now i just saw someone else use it and, and thought it would look cool so i had a buddy paint a piece of a corvette suspension it's in a gold color but it's on aluminum we kind of wanted to see what it would look like because we've never used this product before so. What I was trying to do is see what type of uh, sheen or what type of finished look this product would have because, I mean, I want the car to look nice and I want to use the nicest stuff that I can on the car. And every time I paint an engine block, it normally gets colored just to, the color changes slightly whenever we you know run the car. Right. And so this is stuff that they paint guns with. I've seen a few people use it on their engines and it's supposed to be heat proof now i've never used this product before what do you think it looks like richie oh, would you would you bad. use it yeah i mean durability or anything i mean as far as just what i see here i can't really judge per se but far as what's your opinion on the the finish i don't know it kind of gives you that i don't know i guess we could kind of say that backyard powder coat look yeah it definitely you know looks I mean? almost like it was powder coated yeah, yeah. yeah it looks a lot I mean, like you get to see the ceramic for it, sure. This is two um, colors mixed together. This is a gold and a black. And what my thought process was is the, the block that I have for the car behind me is an all aluminum 5.7 liter LS6. And I was gonna try and paint it like a base black and then put some orange over top of it and then fade it down to look like a, a barn fine type style motor. But I didn't want regular paint. I wanted something that kind of looks like a little bit more modern on the car, still achieving that same style look. and. And plus That's with what, high temp, too. Yeah, plus with the high temp, you can mm -hmm. still play around with it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going we're gonna to spray the, the engine with this stuff. We're going to probably spray the headers with it and, and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, you guys will see that on, on camera also, as well as along with all of the other parts that we're putting on this car, right. because that's why I bought them. I guess the main thing would be longevity, you yeah. know? Yeah, we'll, you know. we'll find out. Yeah, for sure. Well, if it changes color, it'll ch you know? <laughs> you know, or whatever, but, you know. Yeah, pretty good stuff, it looks like. We still have the patina on the pillar here. We also still have the patina kind of going down the side. And we've made the decision on this car to, to leave all of that there. But we've also made the decision to actually put a new roof skin on this car because the roof of this car did have some, some holes in it. You can see there's holes there and there's holes there. And we'll get to that after we fix the bottom of this car. Then we're also gonna put a vinyl top, a new vinyl top on it. And I'm not sure if we're gonna distress that vinyl top or just leave it new yet. We haven't made that decision. Richie's done a, a fantastic job and gone in here and basically took out the old floorboard. And Richie, is this floorboard finished welded in yet or no? Um, no, not 100%. Not I mean, it's tacked in. Tacked in, okay. For the most part. I mean, you know, awkwardly, I mean, if we want to cut it apart, you could say, yeah, but you know me, you know. I got that perfection side of myself. And I, I feel like we can get a little more support in there and go here to there. We didn't put any patches in this car and we used AMD metal. You can see the GM sticker on it right there. And I just want to use the best components on this car as possible if, if someone's trying to drive it, either me or someone else is trying to drive it every day. If you guys remember, there was a lot of rust that was back in this area back here. There was also a lot of rust up by the tow boards up there that Richie mentioned earlier. There was also a lot of rust in the rocker panels itself, and he's gone ahead and cleaned those up. Now, remember, we're going to paint it from here 
down black because it was an X11 car. We're also going to put the gills on the side. We decided to go ahead and put a whole new firewall in here. And you can see on this car that we've actually drilled out all the original spot welds and you can see all of Richie's welds and they'll be cleaned up and look nice. But the reason that this area looks like this is because when these panels come from AMD or whoever your supplier is or where you buy them, they have the, the hole for the heater box or the heater core in here. And we're gonna probably put AC in this car and they do offer the smooth firewalls from AMD as well. But we just decided to make a little template and kind of fill that in here. It just was pretty simple. Out. Yeah. So it was just to kind of give us that spot, just in case anybody knows what it don't, you know, what it looks like or don't look like with or without a heater box. And the reason being is because when you order your air conditioning, they give you a plate, but the plate looks kind of cheesy. I mean, it's, it's good for what it does, but we want this car to, when you look down in the engine bay, just look clean. Now, the second thing that we're going to do is we have a hideaway a windshield wiper setup that we're going to put in here so it'll hide the wiper motor that sticks out here we'll tuck that behind the actual uh, cow, cow itself and then you won't ever see that and probably there'll be a plate here we'll probably paint it to make it look nice so you, you never even know that it's there one of the last things that we're going to have to do here and we're going to actually get it off the ground and mini tub it next and we wanted to get the front of the car taken care of first before we put the anything on on the back ends. Richie's gone around and he's he's actually gone ahead and made the place for the window to sit in there pretty nice the whole way around. Looks a lot better than yeah. Than, I went around did some cleaning up. Yeah, it just looks better than what Prep we started out. with. Right on. I see here through the back window we got our lower inner quarters down there. What is your what's our what's our plan over for this side? Well. well after said and done here, I mean, uh, we, uh, well, we debated on what we wanted to do as far as just like the floor and all. Okay. You know I mean? As far as patch or whatever. But uh, between it, I mean, uh, we uh, decided to go with these patch panels here. Everything. But, you know, just like everything else, once you start opening it up a little bit, you kind of see some other things you might want to fix along the way. So, of course, you know, I haven't necessarily made it that far yet, but, you know, um, we're going to take care of them just like I do anything else, cut out and uh, replace what needs to replace. You know what I mean? Butt weld everything so everything looks nice and pretty, you know? Yep, yep. Are we gonna leave this uh, tub in here for you to do that and then replace it? Or are we gonna leave, uh, we gonna cut this out and then put this in? Well, I mean, the thing about it is, is no matter which way you look at it, I gotta look at it from both sides because, you know, right now we're not working on the tub. So right. I'm gonna end up just go ahead and tie in on the back side. You know, I still got some cleaning up and everything, enough for this lip, because gotcha. this lip here, it's actually in there. I just get, you know, I got a little bit, I got to pull apart there from one of the spot welds. But all in all, I mean, you know, she'll slide back in there. I mean, you can kind of see how Arkley already kind of been doing my slowly fit just because, you know, it's better to kind of go in a slow mo, you know, versus on saying, whoa. You know. But, uh, and to be honest, I've done a lot of Camaros before. You don't want to use cheap metal on these cars, it just makes your whole restoration. A nightmare. What do you think of the metal that we've gotten for this car? Has it just kind of fit into place or? Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, there's, you know, a couple of little things just like, you know, the average. I mean, they'll give you a little extra material, maybe on the corner or something like that. You might, you know. But we but, don't have any crazy gaps no, that we got to fix. It no. all just is kind of. Yeah. The car yeah. wasn't bent oh, yeah. or wrecked or anything. No, no, because, yeah, all the measurements came out right because I made sure I kept everything in line just in case of anything, you know, when I put the firewall on. And of course, I mean, you know, just due to the fact of even with the uh, factory spot welds and everything else and kind of matching things up with, I mean, it was almost like it was dummy proof, really. <laughs> hey, one, one last thing I want to mention. I'm, I'm happy that you, you covered up the cow tag here. Right, gotta keep that patina, man. Gotta and you can see the, uh, the VIN numbers for the car on the, now this isn't final painted. It's gonna, we're gonna go over all the new metal with paint and it's going to basically just have the, the patina on it. Everything else is going to look this color under the, all the fenders and stuff. Um, but what I wanted to do to the inside, Richie, is if we can, when we're cutting out all this stuff for the, the mini tubs, for those that, that don't know or can't see, there's an X code right here on the rear bulkhead. It says X1. And we're not going to paint that section. That is going to tell us what kind of car this was from the factory. If, 
even though it has the X code on the front over there, but we're just going to probably take like an index card and just put over that. And I don't even really want to clear coat it. I'm, you know, I say we can tape it off. We'll, we'll tape and it off and paint it. everything else and then black. Just tape the tape that section back off and just do the opposite per se. Just to kind of preserve the history of the yeah. car, you know. I I think that would be pretty. That cool. would be pretty cool. I agree. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if you guys are excited about this build, give us a like or a subscribe or whatever you want to do. Uh, in the next episode or the next video, we'll have this thing off the ground. We'll put mini tubs in it and we'll put the rear end, the Ride Tech four link suspension underneath and see how all that fits up.